hey guys welcome back to the channel of course it's your girl caroline i am back with a new video and i wanted to show you guys how i achieve this wind red hair color it's like a dark burgundy reddish hair color curly wig and this reddish glam makeup so if you want to see how i got this reddish color with this glam reddish glitter makeup then keep on watching the hair that i'm using today is from celia hair if i'm saying celia hair name wrong i will have the name listed in the description box if you guys want to check them out but this is their brazilian deep wave they sent me four bundles of hair with a lace frontal they sent me 226 inches 224 inches and a 20 inch lace frontal so of course i went ahead and made my wig as usual i do have videos on my channel on how i make my wig just in case you want to see a detailed tutorial on how i make my wig okay but i did went ahead and i used or four bundles of hair with a frontal and I made my wig now I wanted to see how this hair would color and how it would take the coloring process without me losing all of the curls all right so to achieve this color um i actually thought this color was going to be more red but it did not turn out to be um extremely red it turned out to be this wine color so i went ahead and used the l'oreal high color the color is called intense red is h11 um, I use this color to achieve this look with a 40% developer. All right, so for the measurements for the L'Oreal hair color, it says measure about 2.6 ounces of the developer, and I'm using a 40% developer, and then you empty it into the cup and then you pour all of the um, tube of color into the cup and also in the box of the color it actually has the intense red color and this is how the intense red color looks i added that to the cup and i mix it up and then i started to apply it to the hair I just wanted to see how this hair will color without me bleaching it which it did not really brighten brightens up because the red looks intense but after i washed the red out it did not look as red it just looked like a burgundy um, wine red color okay so i just went ahead and i applied it to the entire hair And after applying the color to the entire hair, I let the hair sit for about 20 minutes to process. And this is how it looks after I process it for 20 minutes. I went ahead and put it in my shampoo bowl and I wash the wig out.
All right, so after washing the wig and I got all the colors out, I did condition the wig and this is how the wig looks. After the color came out, it looks like a reddish wine color instead of the intense red that I was expecting it to be. After washing it, I just let the wig sit and air dry overnight and this is the curls that I got in the color. I was expecting the color to be more intense, reddish color, but this is the color. I got this wine red, burgundy color, and I actually love the way it turned out. Also, the curls were still popping. I thought I was gonna lose some of the curls. I thought it was gonna be more wavy, but you guys can see the hair was still curly after I color it. So I actually love that. So after that, the next day, I went ahead just to refresh the curls. I added a little bit of water using my spray bottle just to define the curls. After that, I went in with my Cantu Curling um, Condition. This is my Holy Grail, and I just applied it to the entire hair, okay? This curling condition from Cantu just helps the curl, re, um, refines the curls. It helps the curls bounce back to life. It just adds moisture and shine to the hair. That's why I actually love it. All right, you guys. So this is how I got this beautiful wine red color. This is how I achieved the color. That is pretty much it. I'm just going to move on now to doing my makeup. If you want to see how I got my makeup look, then keep on watching. I'm going in with my Becca primer. This is the Ever Matte Pullest Primer. I like to use this one because my skin is very oily. It helps my skin stay dry. All right, starting off with my brows, I'm using the Rimmel Black Brown Eyebrow Pencil. Using my Elite Girl Pro Concealer in the color Frown, I'm gonna Clean up my brows. Next, I'm going in with my Revolution Concealer, and this is the color C1 as my eyeshadow base. Going in with my Tarte in the Blonde Palette. I'm going to be using this shade called Rebel as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to be using this shade called Leader. Next, I'm using this shake of Funny Girl as my brow bone highlight shade.
Next, I'm going in with this MAC blush. This is actually a blush. It's called Flame Noir Matte. Okay, I'm going to be putting that over my transition shade. And I'm just going to be packing it on. Going back in with the Revolution um, Concealer in C1, I'm going to cut my crease. Next, going in with the same Juvia Sahara palette. I'm using this red shit. Alright, so next I'm gonna be mixing these glitters up. I have red, I have pink, I have black, I have gold. I'm gonna mix them up and then apply it using my NYX glitter glue. Next, I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner from NYX. Putting in some lashes. All right, now that we're done with the eyes, we're gonna move on to the face. For foundation, I'm using the Lancome Tint Foundation, and this is in the color 470 Suede C. Alright, so to conceal, I'm going to use my Elegant Pro Concealer in front. And I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend it out. To contour, I'm using the Black Oak Pearl Foundation Stick in Suede Mocha. And I'm using my brush to blend it out. Now to highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of um, my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. It's just brightening up under my eyes. Using my Benna Banana Powder, I'm going to set under my eyes.
To remove my bake, I'm using the MAC Skin Finish in the color Dark. Back to the eyes, I'm going in with the same blush um, from MAC. Using my Revolution um, highlighters, they're a big highlighter and one is a bronzer. I'm gonna glow up my skin. And for lips, I'm lining my lips up with this True Matte lipstick. Let's go Wine Berry. Alright you guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys love the way my makeup turned out. I hope you guys love the way this hair color turned out to be. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.